we're done, but you can't reverse history. There might be an interesting question, the, the very last one, which I think puts puts a little bit more, puts puts more emphasis on internal efforts by Palestinians to mount resistance against Israeli state. So I, I don't think we've talked about that quite as much in this discussion. So maybe you could address that. This is this is the question that um, I'm paraphrasing the question, but um, Professor Chomsky suggesting that things could fundamentally change if the U.S. demands for Israel to end the occupation. However, the question is asking, do you think that change could happen from within? And particularly um, thinking about the efforts by Palestinians from within. Uh, is there anything Palestinians can do other than just hope that the U.S. implausibly change their approach? Palestinians can do plenty internally, just as repressed and occupied people have done throughout history. Let me give you an example, which was just discovered recently. Abolitionism turns out it's very recently been discovered that Africans initiated abolitionism long before it developed in England, very strongly appealing to the Vatican, which was the ruling league, that was the international legal framework at the time, back in the, sixth, the early time of the early Portuguese invasion, uh, African slaves were organizing to appeal to the Vatican to ban slavery. They had a fair amount of success up to the point where the Vatican Council at least agreed to reduce the uh, onerous, uh, murderous conditions of slavery. That's the beginning of the abolitionist movement. All throughout history, uh, oppressed, uh, brutalized people have led the way towards their liberation. And the same can be, is true of the Palestinians. Their resistance over the years has been phenomenal. What's called sumud in Arabic, just refusal to give up, maintaining their rights, uh, in dedicated, committed fashion. I've seen it personally in remarkable forms in Palestinian villages under attack in refugee camps and elsewhere. That's, and that can now, the Palestinian solidarity groups in the United States and elsewhere can take the lead in these things as solidarity groups have done in other in other uh, uh, cases. I mean, take East Timor, which I mentioned. It seemed almost inconceivable that a little place like East Timor could resist the invasion of a major power supported by the United States and its allies. How on earth could they resist? They did, amazingly. A huge massacre and destruction Solidarity groups developed in the United States and England finally pressured the U.S. government to call off the slaughter, finally did. They survived. Things like that happened in the world. Uh, many, and the Palestinians and the supporters can do it as well. They have a great record of resistance.